Welcome to the second class of this very special chapter uh, structure of matter. So in my previous class I already explained what are the main contents of this chapter which is the very basic of chemistry and of course I explained you earlier that why it is very important because every single topic of the content of this chapter is important to know chemistry and then to proceed on the next level. So at, in my previous class I explained what are the names and symbols of elements and in this video I shall explain about the particle's identity, this one. So the particle's identity means as you know that in this chapter we will study about the Rutherford models and Bohr models from that point of view from that point of view we know that that if if this is the energy shells energy levels and suppose if I go for lithium so this would be two energy levels and inside there is nucleus and this nucleus there will be like uh, suppose there is one two three four neutron and inside there is three proton so the red one is proton and the bluer one is the neutron suppose and outside there will be there will be electrons one two and another is one as because I'm drawing the lithium structure okay for how we, we know that this will be the circular one and the first cell would be two nuclear uh, electrons from the Bohr's model. So I shall explain it later on or by the way you may know that what are the explanations on what the statement of Rutherford and Bohr's model. So if we see this, this is lithium atom. So inside there is nucleus so this is the invention by Rutherford through the alpha particles uh, experiment you know earlier that Rutherford invented that inside of the atom there is a positive charged something and that thing is actually proton and of course there is the existence of neutron into the nucleus and this is the energy levels so we can say that this is this is the energy energy levels then we can say these are the shells and this is electron this is electron and of course here the bluer one is the neutron neutron and the red one is proton so what we can see we can see that inside there are four blue dot that means inside there are four four neutron four neutron and and three red dot it means there are three protons so we can say there are three protons and outside we can see there are three electrons so we know this is the lithium because according to periodic table we see that number three positions uh, belongs to lithium because it has three proton so when the proton number is fixed based on the proton number the position of periodic tables of, the, of that elements is fixed so from that corner we can have three basic particles inside atom that is electron proton and neutron and here is a table that is already in your book might be and you know that there is some comparison in these three particles so from our basic concept of chemistry we know on the middle of the nucleus I mean the middle of the atom there is a nucleus consisting two different particles proton and neutrons protons are positive neutrons are neutral and the electrons are negative and usually in the state balance and the normal state the number of protons and number of electrons in an atom are equal and that is why 
the atoms in normal state are electrically neutral because of the number of protons and the number of electrons are same so if we see some comparison of these electrons protons and neutrons this table is primarily okay so you see the protons we expresses this proton symbol as p plus so we can understand that proton is actually positively charged particle so we express as it the p plus and relatively if we express as the mass of protons and neutrons are one then we can say that electrons are much lighter than protons and neutrons at least thousands I mean 1840 times lighter than protons and neutrons. So the relative mass expresses the comparison in between these three particles. So the first one is proton and the neutron. So the proton and neutron, if their mass is one gram, suppose, then the electron is 1840 times lighter than protons and neutrons. But the real mass of protons is 1.67 over I mean, times 10 over 24, minus 24. So it means 10 over minus 24 is much lighter. I mean, it's a very tiny amount of, I mean, this is a very tiny because we know that uh, we can't see our naked eyes with the, uh, we, we need a very highly configured microscope to see this but this is very very tiny so 1.67 times 10 over minus 24 gram is the real mass of proton and of course in case of charged the charge of proton and electron are same but opposite so if the charge of proton is 1.60 times 10 over minus 19 coulomb so if it is plus the charge of electron would be minus 1.6 times 10 over minus 19 coulomb that's because the unit of charge is coulomb you know it so that is minus and plus so there is nothing changed in between this rather the charge uh, so plus one and minus one so if it is plus so this is minus because we know that the charge of proton and electron are same but opposite but the charge of neutrons are zero as because it's neutral. So, in case of neutron, we express it by N zero, that means it's neutral. And here, the relative mass expresses the mass of proton and neutrons are pretty same. But here, you see a little bit change, like 1.67, here 1.67, 5, but things are same. But here you see a dramatic change, like much, much lighter. 10 over 24 and this is 10 over 28 minus so if if we somehow if there are any sort of mcqs based on like what is the a mass of electron in kg then it would be like 10 over 10 over minus 24 if i need divided by 1000 1000 it means it would be 10 over 3 okay so if it is if it is 10 over 28 by 23, 10 to the power 3, then it would be 10 over 28, again it would be minus 3. So it would be 10 over minus 31 kilogram. So if it expresses in kilogram, then it would be 9.11 10 over minus 31 kilogram. Okay, you must remember that in case of MCQ, if it comes like in kg, and if we need to do some mathematics with the mass of electron, then we need to think about in kilogram. That will be 10 over minus 31. So this is the comparison in between these three. So this is nucleus. In this nucleus, we have neutrons and protons. And in the energy shells, there will be moving electrons and which shells how many electrons will be there we know from the Bohr's model and we know the principle is 2n square and the number of shells based on like n is 1 it's k shell 
n equals 2 is L shell, n equals 3 is M shell. And based on the number, we can have the number of electrons is available in the shells like 2n square. In case of n1, it would be 2. In case of n2, it would be 8. In case of n equal 3, it would be 18. So the number of electrons also varies based on the shells. So I shall explain in detail in uh, Bohr's model explanation. So this video is about the particle's identity. So you must know this is the the comparisons in between protons, neutrons and electrons and these are the relative mass, these are the expressions as symbols and we express this through plus as because proton is plus and electron is minus and these are the real charge and real mass. So hopefully this is uh, pretty uh, understandable and basic and the next video I shall explain the identity of atoms like there will be a nuclear number and of course there is a proton number so from that class we can have idea how we can express the uh, atom and from that we can count the nuclear number, proton number, electron number, even mass number so in the following videos, I shall be explaining this chronologically and uh, thanks for watching this video and thanks again for being with me and definitely please let me know what is your requirements and I am trying my level best. So see you in the next class. Stay well, stay blessed. Take care.